Hello everybody, this is Kyle Horst with Kirksville Web Design and also Google Sites Webdesign.blogspot.com. Uh, thanks for tuning in again. I'm going to walk you guys through uh, a lot about embedding um, Google gadgets like documents and forms and as well as uh, videos and whatever else that I can fit in this little time slot here. Okay, so I'm just going to sign in and uh, check out my Nums Bakery website. Uh, you may recall before we kind of walked through uh, content, uh, pictures, and and uh, text, and how to format that to make it look uh, awfully nice. So, um, I'm going to go to the Contact Us page, because I'm going to make a Google form for contacting the bakery. So I go to insert, I go to uh, spreadsheet form, and I might have just realized I haven't made a form yet. So Yeah, it says no forms. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to walk you through how to make a form then. All right, let me go back here. Cancel that going to go to Documents, Google Docs. This is where, you know, the the great thing about Google Apps, everything is interconnected and you can really uh, take advantage of that when making your website. So I'm going to create a no new form in Google Docs. Alright, and it makes a uh, very, you know, it's fairly simple. It's uh, user-friendly like anything Google does. So I'm going to call this the Contact form. Please fill this form out to and you just write a little description in there and uh, you can start creating questions. For instance, you just put name. It doesn't ne necessarily have to be a question. It just, you know, implied that someone would enter their name uh, and you can choose a question type this will do fine as a que a text question uh, this is important element that required questions you'll want to take note of that so I've got name go here the edit name phone phone number uh, add another item comment and this help text can uh, you know say what you want it just kind of you know can help people out to find out what you're looking for uh, also required oops I forgot to make that one required for instance phone number you can put like 555 and you know however you want to format the number so it's easier for you to identify it once this data is filled out and sent to a spreadsheet. Uh, make this required, done. Okay, so just a very simple uh, spreadsheet here, or not spreadsheet, Google form from Google Docs. Okay, so I just saved that and when I go back to my NUMS website, I go to insert, insert, insert spreadsheet form and there my form shows up. Great. So I select that and uh, kind of want to tailor this to to the uh, design of my page. I haven't really done anything with the page yet. Uh, I don't want the title. I don't really want a border. Um, let me just keep it at that for now until I find out a better way to, to format it in here. Uh, I'm going to probably make it a, I'm going to change the page layout, I'm going to make it a uh, two column, just like that, I'll put the contact form, whenever you drag on Google Sites, like, to place something somewhere else to move it, it always makes a copy, which is kind of, I always thought it was just annoying, but that's just me. I'm going back going back to the properties here because the width you see if it's 400 pixels that might I'm just going to make it 100% of that column 
or leave empty, it says, for 100%. Instead of messing with uh, trying to get the pixels exactly right or something. Okay. Mm, maybe I do want to keep that title on there. Go back here, properties. Okay. So, that's pretty simple. Uh, actually, that I don't know why. It's annoying with titles and gadgets and things that you have to that you cannot modify, you can't change the color of the text, you can't change the type of, of font, anything about this uh, gadget title here. So instead, what I'll do is I'll, I'll just click that off, I'll go to the top here, and create a little space for me to to make a heading. Uh, let's see. Center that. Whoa. And put a horizontal line. And modify the HTML to make that line not so dividing. 75% uh, there. I'll save that. See, it makes it a little bit more. It makes it stand out more because that title is so small before. Um, like I said before, I'm going to get rid of this contact us uh, page heading because. So I go to page settings and I, I take that off the page title because it's quite obvious what page I'm on according to the navigation. And uh, there you go, got a contact form. Pretty easy, right? So to test this out, I'll just type in a bunch of random stuff. Actually, it, Google Forms don't, it doesn't even enforce that you're doing it in this format. I sh probably should just, uh, just to give a good example here. And uh, I really want scones. So when you submit, when someone would submit, you know, this into their into the form, it says thanks automatically. It says thanks for doing that and. Uh, so, when you go back to your Google Docs, and well, let me refresh this then, here we go, I got my contact form, and when I click on that, it takes me to the spreadsheet. Now let's say you don't want to work with the spreadsheet, you want to go back to editing the form. You go over here to form and say edit it, and it comes back up as that familiar page that we were at before. Okay. So, and you can actually create uh, notifications that go with um, notification rules that go with your form so that you get an email whenever someone uh, emails, uh, whenever someone fills out your form, sorry. So you say notify me with an email, you, it'll come to that specified email. I would say when any changes are made, meaning someone's filled something out and submitted it, and you can say uh, save, but I'm not going to do that because some of you random people might start filling out my forms and flood my spreadsheet. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get out of this just because I've showed you the ropes there. Uh, Google Docs, get out of that. Okay, and uh, if you want more of a complex form, I know um, my co-author for the blog, uh, uh, Josh, has has given you guys advice on why is that there has given you guys advice on uh using jot was it jot form or jot spot something like that it was a post before anyways uh to make more uh thorough and detailed forms for people to fill out kind of confused why that still has that title there is that part of it Huh. I didn't realize that. This is not even part of the... No, it went away. Okay, Google Sites is weird sometimes. <laughs> okay, um, now I'm going to show you guys how to uh, create like a calendar page. So I'm going to create a new page. 
Uh, it's just going to be a simple web page, and I'm going to call it calendar, or maybe like uh, I don't know, baking schedule or something. Just fit the whole bakery theme of this of this website. Create that at the top level. Create that page. Um, there you go. Loads the editor here. And I've already made a calendar as an example, so I just go over here to the insert, and I'm going to insert a Google Calendar. And since I already made it, it will pop up here once it's done loading. Once it's done loading, there you go. Uh, and we'll use that. I'm going to get rid of like everything here, just because... Less is more, they say. Um, and that should fill the whole screen with that baking schedule. Awesome. Now you want to make sure if you want to make sure that your calendar is given the uh, viewable to the public status that's in the share settings, or else people won't be able to see the calendar. They'll have to like log in and. Uh, that'll make no sense to them. So, make sure that it's public. And I'm going to edit these page settings to get rid of a few things. Do do do. Save. And then I'm going to uh, put that in my navigation. So go to More Actions, Manage Site, uh, go to Site Layout, edit content of the horizontal navigation bar, add a page, add that one I just made, which was the... where is it? Baking schedule. Perfect. I'll put that above the contact us, kind of in the middle there. Say OK. Save. And back. So I'm back to my home page. And if I go to my baking schedule. There my uh, calendar pops up. Pretty cool. So just, these are just some of the examples of uh, using the gadgets. I know I haven't really gone into any depth, but as time allows, this at least gets you to see how to implement a calendar and a contact us form. And uh, I look forward to imparting more of more knowledge about Google Sites here in, uh, next Wednesday. Uh, let me know if you guys want any topics specifically covered. I will definitely give uh, credence to your requests. And I'll see you guys next time. Please check out my blog and subscribe, or subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kirksville Web Design, no spaces. Great. Alright, see you guys later. Bye.